All right, so this is a 1985 Chevy C10. This was my grandfather's who passed away. Um, it has been sitting here, I want to say 10 years. It may have been started five years ago. That would definitely be most recent. It's probably been longer than that since it was started. Um, so kind of the short story of this, my grandfather bought it um, probably when it was about a year old. Um, and so he drove it until about 2003, maybe 2002, um, and he bought a new truck. And or maybe even like 2000, because he, he drove both of them for a while. He kept this one, and uh, it was always used as a truck. Um, so, although it's, I would consider it to be in excellent shape. It's all original paint, it's never been wrecked. Um, you know, it still shows signs of being a truck, being used as a truck. got dents and scrapes and dings and but like I said original paint and I think you know it would polish up and it shows character um, but anyway it um, so when it hit almost 200,000 miles uh, the engine started knocking it's got a 305 in it and uh, so it was just under 200,000, and so it's got 9,687 is what it shows on the odometer. And so the motor in it, we rebuilt the motor and the transmission. So the motor and transmission have about 10,000 miles on them. Um, shortly after we built them, he bought the new truck, and well, it wasn't a new truck; it was a used truck. Um, friend of his, he had always liked his truck, and that friend, he told that friend if he ever bought a new truck he wanted to buy the old one from him and he that guy bought a new truck so he bought the old one it was a 92 Chevy so uh, like I said last time it was registered was in 03 he probably uh, it stopped getting daily driven probably in about 2001 or so ish um, and then after it stopped getting daily driven it uh, we kind of used it as kind of a farm truck, just an extra truck, and then after we let, then it started running rough, um, and we thought a lobe had worn off on the camshaft, that we had just gotten a bad cam when we rebuilt the motor, and it, um, well, we had the motor rebuilt, um, that they put a bad cam in it, and uh, so. We kind of thought that, and so it got driven less and less. Then it started slipping in reverse. So if something, um, it still goes in reverse, but it slips. So something's not quite right in the transmission. Something came loose, something, I don't know if a band or what, but um, or something in the valve body. No clue. But um, we found that the running rough, that, um, you can see it back there, that vacuum T that goes into the manifold, that had a crack in it. Or the line was cracked or something. And that's what was causing the um, missing. It was just a uh, real bad vacuum leak. Fix that, engine ran perfect. But we had the transmission problem. So uh, it pretty much sat here. And it's been started up maybe once or twice. But now the fuel pump is bad. And notice that the last time it was running, like I said, that was probably at least five years ago, that um, check the oil and uh, it's full of gas. And so the fuel pump was weeping into the... Uh, engine instead of out the little weep hole. So 
we've got to replace the fuel pump on it. So the plan is to replace the fuel pump on it, get it running, and see what the transmission needs, and then any other repairs that need to be done to get this thing back on the road. So that being said, we're going to start a little video series on this truck, and it'll be starting with the fuel pump.